All right. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello to all of the Leos out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your end of the month reading for June. All right. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if the reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check out your moon, Venus, and rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. For a personal reading, the link will be posted in the description box below this video. All right, so you have distant horizons. <clears throat> Some of you may want to travel somewhere. I see travel here. Some of you could be waiting for a message to come in. Could be waiting on a message to travel to come in. To uh, a privileged woman, I definitely feel like some of you are traveling. Could be taking a train somewhere. Could be taking um, a trip for 10 days with their 10 coming out. You have 36. 36 can be significant. 14, 12 could be significant. But I feel like you are coming unstuck. Some of you may have been feeling stuck. I see you becoming unstuck. Okay? I feel like you are heading in a new direction. You could be waiting for a message to come in regarding something about traveling to a privileged feminine energy. Let me know in the comment section. I do get the sense that this person may be looking away from you. Or someone here has turned their back or someone's looking away. Looking in another direction. And I feel like that's what the message of concern is representing. Like someone here is going into a new direction, looking into a new, another direction. Let's see. Why is this distant horizon here? You could be traveling towards your soulmate. Okay. Traveling towards your soulmate, some type of partnership, wanting to come up with some type of agreement. All right. Message of concern. Some of you may have gotten a message from this person. OK, that you are narcissistic. This is a one sided relationship. I see something here about love bombing. So someone could be coming in to shower you with love and then they retract their energy. Who is this privileged lady? Yeah, someone here, I feel like with the hammer in the reverse, someone here is not working on this situation. That's why her head her head is turned. Someone is walking away from this. Hammer in the reverse, not work, working on this anymore. No longer working on this, no longer wanting to rebuild. Not today. Avoiding a conversation. Someone is putting up boundaries. Okay, this person is still hurt, still angry, still upset, not dealing with it at all. Okay, let me know in the comment section. But that's what I'm getting thus far. This person does not want to um, have this conversation. So for some of you, if you are wanting to go towards this person, and remember the energies can always be vice versa. So apply it as a fist to your story. But someone here is avoiding a conversation. It's like... One person wants to go towards the person that they are at a distance from or not speaking to and have a conversation and the other person is turning their head, putting up some type of boundary. But let's see what the tarot cards are saying. Let's see how this turns out. What else is here? Leo. Some of you could be dealing with a, uh, a cancer. The, the chariot is here. We have Aquarius, Libra, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy is here as well. So I feel like in the past, I see someone, someone in the past I feel like someone in the past walked walk away from a conversation with an empress. Okay, someone walked away from a conversation with an empress. And I feel like 
We had seven and three here. I feel like that by someone walking away from a conversation, it resulted in um, you and this person not speaking, someone abandoning this, this union. Because these two images are going into this image and this image are facing the opposite. So these two people are going in two different directions. I feel like um, someone's intuition led them to walk away from this. Yeah. Okay. Because there was some type of argument that took place. I see an argument. A disagreement, some type of fussing and fighting, conflict, multiple people involved in this. And I feel like that's why someone here is holding back. Someone's holding back. And I feel like taking their time communicating. Someone's going towards the things that are... Leo, this could be you going through, going towards the things that are peaceful to you. Working on your goals, expansions, your visions. Someone definitely walked away from a, a conversation. Walked away from a conversation. I feel like it created some type of argument, some type of conflict here. That's why someone is holding back. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Right now with this three of fire here, I do feel like someone's goal is to communicate or travel back to this person with this ten of, ten of water here. Someone wants to come home, but they're in, they're in fear of rejection. Someone feels like their offer is not going to be accepted if they, if, if they come in and it's going to result in them being stressed. Okay? Someone feels like they're being overlooked. They're overwhelmed. Because now they want to have a conversation. Now this person wants to come in and have a conversation after they walked away. Because they are realizing in the absence of this person, they have love for them. Look at that. Someone's realizing that they have love for the other person after they walked away. And now they're getting clarity. Here it is. The message that they want to come back in to reconcile with their empress. Someone here is very intuitive. Could be a Libra or a Taurus. Yep, this person is coming in. They want to balance things out now. They may be coming in to prioritize you. Reconciliation. They want reconciliation. They are thinking about the past. They want, they're want. they wanting to make new memories. This person is feeling like they've known you all of their life. Or for some of you, you've been dealing with this person for six or more years. They're coming in. They want to balance things out. They're, they're ready to... This person is realizing in your absence that um, you make them feel um, balanced. Like you balance. They're coming in wanting to compromise. Wanting some type of stability. Leo, this could be you. Wanting forgiveness. The sun card. Someone here is recognizing how happy... You make them or they make you. Okay? And someone's coming in with an apology, wanting someone's forgiveness and wanting to heal a situation and to move things forward. This could be, this argument could have been over a third party. We have the three of air and the three of fire here. So someone here could um, be in a third party situation. Someone here could also be getting therapy or need therapy. But I feel like someone's definitely coming in with a message. They're coming in lighthearted, coming in um, enthusiastic and motivated to move things forward. Someone has learned some new things, a new way to be. Yeah, I feel like this forward movement or this conversation is going to be really unexpected. I do feel like it will lead to a new beginning. But someone is going to be have their guard up. So someone here is going to definitely have to put some work in to break down the barriers and to break down this person's guard. Yeah, someone here in the near future, I see someone putting an end to something. Leo, this could be you again, 
putting an end to a relationship, putting an end to something, walking away from something so that you can evolve, but it's going to require you to have strength and courage. Because now you have clarity. I feel like you have clarity that there's a new stable opportunity for you coming in in the near future. Something that's going to be resourceful, something that's going to bring in abundance, something that's going to bring in growth is going to is connected to um, your finances, your resources, new opportunities, abundance. Virgo's energy is here. Scorpio's energy is here. And this is a renewal with someone that you love and you don't want to make a mistake and mess this up or vice versa. Yeah. Passion. The passion is still there. This is a new beginning. But someone here is still disappointed about what happened in the past. Someone is still recovering. So I feel like this person is going to need some time to recover. But um, overall, I do see this coming back together in the end. Yeah. Because someone's recognizing that you're the key to their success or they're the key to your success. All right, so I am going to pull from one more Oracle deck. I want to see what messages Spirit has for you. What other messages does Spirit have for the sign of Leo? Free you. <laughs> Some of you may need to free yourself or you are freeing yourself from a relationship. But it says free you. Could be dealing with someone that's named free you. Um, it's saying you are worthy, you are love. And I feel like the universe is guiding you in a new direction, but you have to have trust. You have to have trust that the universe has a plan for you and the plan is going to work out. It's saying moon, moon beam, you are on the right path. Step into the unknown. Don't be afraid. Okay. Kali, someone's name could be Kali, Kaylee, Kylie. It's time for you to commit to this and move forward. Reclaim your power. So some of you may have been, and then it says, change is important. Release your past. Some of you may have been operating from a place um, of fear. Okay? Someone here is operating from a place of fear. And Spirit is saying it's time to come out of that, that, um, e that emotion of fear. Because that emotion of fear is bringing in lack in your life. Some of you are lacking some things or you're going through some type of storm or something like that. Some type of dark place and spirit is saying in order for you to come out of that, it's the people, some of the people that are around you. Because there are a lot of people here, okay? A lot. And the spirit is saying those people's energy are connected to yours. And some of those people that you are surrounding yourself with, those are not, um, some of those people have toxic energy and that toxic energy is transferable. It's trans, it, it, it can transfer to you and it creates blockages in your life. So if you are feeling like um, you can't move forward, there's something holding you black, back, there are blockages and you don't understand why, it's because of the people that are around you, okay? So be mindful of the people that are around you. Some people are in your life um, purposely holding you back. They're purposely holding you back, okay? Because they don't want you to um, succeed or get ahead or be your own person. But I'm going to leave it at that. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sharing love, life, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for it. Oh, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. Oh, I will be going live tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for live questions and answers. If you want to join in, you are more than welcome. But be blessed. Thanks for watching again. And I will see you next time. Peace.